what up guys welcome back to wild talks this is episode i still don't remember what the, the number is number uh, seven uh, or eight i don't know man but that's not important what's important here man and the most important thing is your comments your because comments. uh this is the your wild comments. talk show where we ask Yours. a comment we ask a question at the <laughs> end of the video and then you guys go down and answer by <laughs> thursday each week because that's when we collect the comments right yeah <laughs> and you guys go down <laughs> Of course, because because uh, why not? We post the topic at the end of the video, and um, you guys get to comment on it. And on the next video, we develop um, on your comments. So what do we had last week? Last week we have mm. your fondest wall memory. Oh well, let's see. Let's see who kicked it off, Mr. Devin Campbell, and he said they should bring back real talent trees and have the current talent system take place of the old glyph system. My fondest memory in WoW would be getting invincible. <laughs> in a group I joined to help someone with the blood quest for Shadow Morn. Man, he didn't even want to get it, man. He just yeah, helped somebody, like, oh, gonna, man. Oh, look, an invincible. Oh, don't mind if I do. Man, I cannot count the, the amount of times I wanted to get that shit. I found that shit and it never got me. Never dropped. Why yeah, I went in like three times and never dropped from <laughs> Well, I can understand what that would be a fun memory because one, you didn't want to farm that mount. Two, it was all random and shit. And three, you know, there's bastards like us who tried years to get that shit and never happened. Hope right, you don't move. play on our server, though. <laughs> nah, man, it's all love. It's all love. Let's let's just move it on to the next one. Let's, let's forget the sadness. <laughs> yeah. The next comment is from Tentacles. I like your style. <laughs> my first oh my god moment was going up a mountain in the torrent starting zone to do a shaman quest and just watching everything around all the way to ratchet that's when i was hopelessly into wow just discovered a new world i oh, think yes. uh, i think a lot of us had that moment man and it's similar yes. to how i started with mulgore as well it's just yeah. like vast open plains mm -hmm. and you have like you just see everything and it's like oh my god i'm actually a part of the world man it's, it's really cool I guess it's just because uh, the first time you get to look and grasp all of the, the world of Warcraft, <laughs> depending on when you are, it is a stunning moment. It being the first time seeing all of that, the massiveness, you know, the details, all of the different color palettes and stuff, the music that comes on narrated, like it just develops a really great ambiance and I believe it can be a very powerful memory. I have, I have the shit with... Uh, with the burn tree, <laughs> it's all burned now. <laughs> <I'm the laughs> so but yeah, man, you it's, can it's visit it on classic. Great times, yeah, sure. <laughs> I did. Fuck that. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Uh, look who it is, Mr. Praise. I had the exact same reaction as Flame when hearing about two tax specs for a lich class. <laughs> my fondest memories of our on a private server. The best one was when two of my friends and me played Shadow Priest, and we were chilling in the water of Woody Bay with Levitate and waiting for Elias players. Hmm. When we spotted an enemy player, one of us went up to him and my controlled the fuck out of him. My controlled the other the guard. <laughs> this reminds me of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I live to read this comment. <laughs> and we'll run into the waters as the controlled alliance player. The other two of us would wait and dot the enemy up and then run away while all the guards chased us. We could see the enemy player getting killed by our combined dots. That was so much fun. <laughs> I guess it was. <laughs> 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 Motherfucking okay. priest. Bonus. When, well, my best friend and me played arena rogan hunter Ooh, i think uh, he said this in a previous video also i died and my friend was against a rest of jude as a hunter jude was low life and my friend started casting a shot and i shouted cast the shot cast the shot before he heals <laughs> and his shot hit the druid right before he killed and we won the game we were so hyped man i can totally relate to this shit man especially the bonus part there was like so the arenas give you so much great memories like pvp in general like if you were like more pvp oriented back in the day or even now you get to live a lot of great shit and i can totally relate to the, the shadow priest thing although i never played a shadow priest i always played discipline I sort of had that, that, kind, that kind of world pvp i think i did some of that in classic 2 where you just abuse the guards and you use like your class type. i think i did it with hunter like feign death type, type mechanics yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, and the, the enemy was just killed by the guards because i was like dead already like, yeah. oh, sorry bye <laughs> then shadow melt and bye bye because i was lance at the time oh, Always good, always good, man. Well, th thanks a lot for the input, Praise. It's uh, definitely a worth one. And I'm happy yeah. to see people, you know, put in our arena memories. Always yeah, yeah. Memories. It's, it's nice to see, you know, some PvP action. And uh, the next yeah. comment is from Maddie Buys. Buys? Uh, what do you buy? Where do you shop? Let some us know. Stuff. 
My fondest WoW memory, it was Wrath of the Lich King. I had managed oh. to get many of my IRL friends to play WoW. We held a guild event where we took photos of the gang in Silvermoon and we would bombard random players by standing around <laughs> them and dancing. Some players even danced with us and then we would all cheer and laugh. Most of my IRL friends don't play anymore, so this is a memory oh. that I cherish. I'm, I'm sorry about that thing, but the dance part, I, that has to be like so weird, <laughs> man. Just geeky stuff man yeah, that's, that's, like, that's what you do that's, that's, that's like the other side of rp right that's yeah. the other side of gold share like when you're tired of gold share just like go yeah. dance in silver moon <laughs> it's, just... it's a it's a little bit sad because most of your your friends are not played anymore and i think we can both yeah, relate yeah, to that yes we all have that yeah well, but you know that's that's the thing about world of warcraft memories it's something i don't know man maybe it's the time when you played or the impact that it had it can defer to, dip, to different person from different person to a different yeah. person um it's like people sometimes us included i guess refer to these memories as you know memories like from the real world or something you know because it's it's, uh, it's weird like that for wow you have wow, other... wow, wow kind of came at the time before social medias were this popular right yes. so it was a really good yes. platform to just talk and engage with a lot of people it's like there's so many people liking the same shit that I do, man, and that was pretty that's cool. The thing. That's the thing, like, you can you can talk about other memories from other games, but it, it's not the same, I don't know, vibe, but not yeah, the same no, passion when you talk about WoW It's shit. a lot of hard in WoW, man. And, you know, stuff like this, you know, having our all friends doing stuff like that, they don't play anymore, it just amplifies that feeling, right? Hey, join our Discord. You will have yeah. people to play with right now. <laughs> true, true. Okay, let's see. This one is from Rob Elephant, also Kelson, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, my fondest WoW memory, it was in the Kata Dungeon Zulaman, one of the bosses i believe haladzi uh required two tanks we were having real issues with the boss as our tanks always got smashed one hit kills happened a lot due to specific ability if i recall correctly i don't remember that i took the opportunity to switch from my warlock main and began tanking on a druid when we got to this boss we still struggled with the uh, mt going down early that's a main MT. tank okay and my son shortly after now this was back in the days when druids tanks were all about the dodge 60 percent plus was was not uncommon 60 yeah. percent dodge what yeah the? yeah, yeah. Oh. you didn't have as much hp and armor you just dodged everything oh, i mean you did shit. have armor but okay let's see we were doing well with the boss down to about 30 40 percent when the main tank went down and we thought we were screwed i picked it up on my druid and the healer went nuts <laughs> popping trinkets and dodging like a boss the healers somehow managed to keep me up it must have been a nightmare for them i bet it was <laughs> it felt like forever it was probably about 40 seconds it, that it's always a feeling yeah, like it's, that it's kind of like that. and it was dead silent you know that time when everyone is in the zone and concentrating so hard i remember that during our raids in heroic sometimes yeah, you just like, felt no, that nobody boat. said anything for like two minutes like all right when the boss finally dropped all hell broke loose with holy shit i don't believe it screams of joy like we won the damn lottery oh man that's so good i got a lot of credit for tanking the kill but really the healers were working overtime to keep me alive hey respect to you because you pay homage to those bastards man yeah, yeah. they don't no, get no, enough no, credit, not a lot man. of people uh, give love to healers yes yes uh but i guess someone has to be the poster boy for the kill that's true being a poster boy always good even though it is just a game it is something we still talk about in conversation as if it was something that really happened jesus christ we, all, we just said this yeah. like in the previous comments Man, are you reading our minds from the past to the future, future with, in the with, present with, and chromies with... here man <laughs> the thing is like this this is like uh, a really detailed moment and it's actually actually some something that happened like in the past but can you can you appreciate the level of detail yeah of, it's like over Kelsen's, 10 years ago or... but yeah Kelsen like had every fucking detail pointed out it's beautiful man and yes. um I, I honestly don't have that much memories with PV stuff, to be honest. Like I, I cannot really relate that much to it, but I can definitely feel, you know, the 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 enthusiasm and you know the excitement from having to live that shit. It's it's uh, it's amazing. I love reading this stuff, especially with all these details. Yeah, yeah. And hey, man, props to you. You're the poster boy for it because hey, you made the decision to go on the druid and tank and stuff. It's beautiful, and you know, respect to the healers always. Yeah. Much love, right. and uh, let's take it to the next one. Hell yeah, Hunter! Look who it is, fucking Hell Hunter, yo, let's see. Uh, my fondest uh, memory regarding WoW was the Worgen storyline. I used to play yes. WoW on private servers, but when I bought the subscription, I played the Worgen story, I was <sighs> overwhelmed. The yes. environment, the fact that you can be both human or Worgen was so satisfying. I think the Worgen was, was a very new type of... Um, 
type of ambience, right? The Victoria, for a while, yes. Victorian yeah, the, England, yeah. the uh, dark Victorians, uh, uh, the vibe. music I, I, I played. I love. I think it's still to this day my favorite starting zone for a class, excepting the DK. It must be one of the best. Must be one of the best. So it's, a, it's a, there's a lot of personality. There. There's a lot of and, and and you can relate to that. It's like you see movies like these the old old Sherlock Holmes movies and that kind yeah, of like and, the dirty. Yes, and it has that creepy vibe also to it, and also the whole thing that they did there. And this this came in Cataclysm. Uh, you you played Cataclysm. Uh, it was all fiery elemental stuff all around. There was you know the big bombastic world of worker stuff. And when you did decide to go into the worgen, uh, make a worgen from zero and then start leveling there, it was just, it was just such a breath of fresh air because on top of the the vibe, you know the the Victorian stuff with you know creepy werewolves thingies and the music and horror stuff. Dude, the, the British accents from there also. Oh yeah, the no lie. Shout out to the actors, man. Dude, it was amazing. And, and it's definitely yeah. one of the best, if not the best, uh, I don't know, it is, current it's, it's... Uh, leveling zone out there. And uh, it would be a shame for them to like, redo it or stuff. They should make that pristine as it is because it's just beautiful. Yeah. The story is good as well. You've got Sylvanas over there as well. Yeah. Man, I don't know about that. You see all the cataclysm happening live. That's pretty <laughs> cool. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, next guy is Tom the Lock guy. He must play a warlock or he's a locksmith. What gave you that idea? I don't know. The lock thing. But maybe he likes locks. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I think my fondest memory was my escape from a terrible guild on a shitty server. Hmm, this is a new one. Back in late Cataclysm, I was in a raiding guild that has seen some better days. Before the guild died, I was a semi-active raider, but due to being shit, <laughs> they often benched me. I, I took it personally back then. Hey, man, I can. I took a lot of shit personally back in my day. Well, <laughs> so don't even feel bad about that shit. Um, I took it personally back then, but hey, hindsight is 2020. Correct. I happened to stumble upon a post in the forums that someone's guild got hijacked while they were off for a month or so. I read further into it and learned that if the GM was offline for 30 plus days, you can dethrone them and take the guild for yourself. Is that still a thing today? I, I don't uh, think so, no. Because I remember that shit I think, too. I think it's because of these motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't know if you can see where this is going. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I can see it. I logged in to see how long the GM has been offline, but for a few days. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. I love how this, you know, this this is like a, a standard story type. Yeah, that's like building fragment. up to the... Yeah. Uh, judge when they came and I informed a close friend of mine of my plan. <laughs> Sneaky. I logged in and dethroned the GM and demoted every halt and officer he had. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Shortly after we started my plan, the old GM logged in and was talking a massive shitstorm. <laughs> well, like, could you blame him? <laughs> yeah, right. No shit. <laughs> but a swift G kick and ignore up a mess uh, oh, no, no. and ignore stop that sorry my buddy and i continued draining the guild of all his money and surprise <laughs> he didn't stop there okay Man, this is some preach drama <laughs> we sold uh what we could and split it 50 50. we sold the guild to someone to another 100k and then transfer our server it is 1.5 million gold ever like this is some bonnie and clyde type shit right here man they hijacked the motherfucking guild they took kicked everybody off took the money sold the guild brought away this is amazing man this is I, I honestly didn't expect that uh, these uh, to have this amount of stories. It's so diff different, right? Yeah. We have the raiding story. Uh, you know, we have the the leveling story, the the zone story. We have the fucking guild heist <laughs> story. I mean, come on, man. The Italian it's, job, dude. Takes a lot for for sharing sure. things. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that guy watches our channel and the former guild master and finds out who it is. <laughs> He'll hunt you down, man. I'm pretty sure of it. I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. let's, uh, let's check the next one. Next Aria one. Killer. Aria Killer, what up, my boy? Great video as always, boy. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. My best memory of WoW was reaching max level for the very first time. Roll the Priest, Wrath of the Lich King, Shadow. Mm. But not because the reasons of getting to Endgame. No, 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 no. It was simply to get revenge on the a-holes who ganked me so many times. I, yeah. Boy, does that hit home so hard. While I was leveling lol. And for the next few days, crappy gear and all, I got my revenge. That has to be so sweet, man. Dude, I can 100% relate to this. I hold grudges like nothing you've ever seen. Oh, no, dude, let me tell you something, Eric Killer. Like, exactly like you, like, when I when I, when I I got stunned as a red paladin leveling up, and especially in booty, but goddamn, I got so pissed off at some point that I took a fucking notebook and no wrote way. them. No way! This is serious. <laughs> I wrote the fucking names of every fucking bastard I had. I don't know if I still have that handbook. So I wrote, like, 15 names. And I was like, my mind was like, I'm gonna get to max level, and I'm gonna find these motherfuckers, I'm gonna stomp them out. <laughs> so, 
I, I eventually got to max level, never found those motherfuckers, but it goes to show it can have a big impact, my dude. And it, again, it really depends on where you're in life at that time. Yeah, because I if suppose. you're a teenager, maybe off to college and shit, it's much more impactful. Shit like this, you know, if, it goes to your pride, man. Like, man, why you keep killing me, man? I want to get, get my revenge. And yeah. he got his revenge. That was pretty good, man. I'm proud of Props you, man. To you. Yeah, respect. All right, let's uh, let's kick it off with the next one. Is that is you or me? Who, uh... Since you're all, all, you're getting all the long ones, man. Okay, you can read it out there. Fuck it. All right, right. Uh, next one is. Sky <laughs> Don't be so excited, man. <laughs> I took me by surprise. Sky Reaper Smalls. <laughs> Hey right. boys, love your videos. My best wall memory, I started playing at the end of TBC when Wrath came out. I didn't even have a max level tune yet. When Bliss put in the dungeon finder, I started play Resto Druid. I popped into a dungeon, Razor from Crawl, oh, well. with a random group, and after the second to third mob group, the dungeon glitched and pulled the whole instance. Holy shit. Ooh. My party members started dropping like flies. I battle res the tank, and me and the tank and one DPS fought the whole instance for over 10 minutes with bosses <laughs> wow that that is an adventure what let me, let me, let me, let me. it was the most intense few minutes of world of warcraft ever after the fights everyone in the group said great job healer i never stopped playing <laughs> resto since ps rap spirit stats saved us all man i Oof. i would have i wouldn't have been able to take a shift for like two days after that man <laughs> 10 minutes of oh! It's, 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 it's definitely some intention. He must have lived over there. I mean, pulling the whole goddamn instance. Uh, hmm, surprising. Oh boy. I mean, I had to happen on purpose. I never thought that would be possible on Blizz servers. Well, so you know, bug, bugs tend to give out, but the whole but they managed to do it, man. And they yeah, managed to do it with him as a healer. And I cannot, you know, I cannot blame him. He's arrested since then. How many innervates, man? How many innervates? <laughs> well, well, he does mention the spirit stat, so yeah, that was that was a yeah, huge was thing. A, I don't know how much spirit. Thing. Yeah, it was uh, only mana though. It was mana Mana and HP regen, and I don't know if uh, mana per five was also mm. part of spirit was a separate stat, but it was a lot more. There were a lot, a lot of gear back then that focused on mana regen, which you don't have now. So it's uh, maybe bring it back. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Knows. But he he must have had a lot of a, a lot of spirits. Ten that, minutes you know, intense healing. Ooh. He said the spirit saved them all, but we know we all know he was him, right? It was it was him. Okay, let's move on to Doctor of. Is this Doc from our Discord? I think so. <laughs> yeah, think so. <laughs> motherfucking Doc. Let's see what what he has to say. I started leveling on the Wrath of the Lich private server that is still going on to this day. I wonder which one. It was <laughs> around 2012 when I started and I got pretty far on the server. Was in one of the top guilds to compete for server first and shit. Sometimes I still log in to travel to Grizzly Hills and soak in the nostalgia and remember the good old days, don't we all? Funny enough, I am now raiding retail with my old gizma Guildmaster from the private server. Really hyped for a Lich King expansion since it's what I love and have the fondest memories of. Oh man, well, this is one thing that, yeah, I think you're a lucky bastard, Doc, because you don't get to play like with the same people you played, I don't know, five years ago, seven yeah, years ago. That's, very often, that must be something all. special, and especially the dude is his formal Guildmaster, right? And hey man, with, with all jokes aside, I. Uh, I almost 100% believe we will have a sort of a Lich King expansion. Be not, shit. not necessarily the Lich King himself, but surely something heavily related to the uh, North will stuff. definitely be a part of the story. Oh, oh, definitely. And I think they would do that for people like you and us because there is a lot of nostalgia related to Wrath of the Lich King. Even for even for people that started off playing before Wrath of the Lich King, Wrath was such yeah. a, a, was a, a big, big step up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, we are happy that you are on the retail dock and healing us. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, thank you very much for sharing, man. Um, where are all the comments? <laughs> That's all the comments, man. This is it, really? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, we need to make like a disclaimer. Like, guys, these are your memories. These are your stories. And most of you guys have, you know, it, it's something I would say private, like I said in the previous video. And we don't want to over exaggerate with the, our opinions on your private stuff right like we're super happy that you guys are sharing the, all these details and it's something that we think it's really important for us as a community because we don't get to talk that much anymore i think on you know platforms 
on things like memories we used to have or achievements. Yeah, something or, more human, you know? Yeah, it's it's uh, and we we surely love these and we're probably going to repeat some of these subjects in the future for the Wild Talks because I, I strongly believe there's a lot more people to get in all of these uh, these memories. Man, in. I got to tell you, it's a little bit sad. There were so many comments. And I, f I felt so bad like having to, you know, pick and choose. Okay, okay. Well, don't worry, guys. Uh, we're probably <sighs> going to get around once again with it and uh, post some more comments from you. So, no, nobody's lost. And if, if you don't make it into the video, maybe we can make a discussion on the Discord, right? We yeah. always have we have the Discord in the description. It's all good. Um, but now we are ready to uh, launch off the second topic. Oh, what's the next topic, man? Uh, well, uh, I'm glad you asked. Guys, the next topic will be World of Warcraft 2. Okay. It's not a topic where you guys necessarily say, hey, I want World of Warcraft to be this or be that, or they should do this. Or, no, let's, let's make it like from scratch. World of Warcraft 2 from the ground up, okay? What can it be? A new story? Would they continue from the old story? New classes? Uh, new engine? New graphical engine? Would you want that? Would you wouldn't like that? I don't know. Chris Metzen making a return to World of Warcraft? World of Warcraft? <laughs> I've been actually thinking about this for a while and I think the best way that I would like World of Warcraft 2 to be is we fight the Voilords or whatever the big boss and they, they erase all of our power and they put us down to scratch. They remake the game with like new, obviously new graphics because you'll be like 2050, maybe, I don't know when maybe, that's going to be. Maybe people don't want that. Let's live it out to them. Well, I mean, we can still be colorful in the, still, the same type of art style, but, you know, more, you know, crisp, more polygons and shit. Okay, that's okay, okay. That's say. yours. Okay, we, we need to put our piece into it, yeah. so that's fine. Path so of Exile that. talent tree. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, um, I would definitely like a World of Warcraft 2 to uh, get rid of the tap targeting. I would very much like a active smart, targeting. Smart, ooh. yeah, with smart cast and stuff. I think that would be for the best. I, it's not that I don't like. I really enjoy tap targeting still. I just feel that at some point, for some classes at least, like imagine a monk, you know, with, with uh, smart targeting and, you know, dynamic targeting and, you know, being able to actually hit all of those abilities. It's it's uh it would be an interesting count and we have a lot of examples of that. I right? like Terra, I think it uh, it's yeah, like Terra, that. Yeah, Terra. Uh, Guild Wars in a so smaller uh, faction. So there's a lot of examples that could work. But hey, man, uh, th we have a lot of ideas on this shit. Let's see what you guys have. Yep. So just think about this topic as World of Warcraft 2, but like from ground zero. Okay, like what's your ideas for it? What it can be? Would it be a possibility? Would I don't know. Is there something that Blizzard would think about? Like, what do you guys think? So, leave it out in the comments. Yep. Uh, just below, you can also find all of our uh, Patreon details and Teespring details and yep. Twitch details. Big shout out to all of our Patreons. We have a bunch of new ones came in just, just this weekend. Thank you all so much. You should see yourself right now on the screen. So, hopefully, that's, uh, that's super good. And with that, we bid you adieu. Okay, bye bye guys, have a great week. Later, see, see ya, peace. <laughs> what the fuck is bid you a dude, dog?